Appalachian Wireless makes it easy and affordable to tech the halls. Extended through Christmas Eve. Get an iPhone 13, 128 gig for only a penny with trade-in. On a two-year contract, on the mix and match, or unlimited plan. Plus, no activation fee. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. On Tuesday, December 5th, many gathered for a ribbon-cutting ceremony at the new Food City location in South Williamson. Following the ribbon-cutting, the crowd was invited to browse, socialize, and enjoy some free samples the night before opening day. The new location is now serving as a replacement for the original, which was previously torn down. Well, of course, this is the second store that ever was in our company's history. And this is the sixth different location we've been in in Williamson since 1963. I mean, that goes back 60 years. And we're so proud to be able to reopen this store. It's been closed for a little over eight months. And I know the people here have missed the store a lot. We have missed having the store here. Uh, our folks worked in other Food City stores, but they're glad to be home. It's a beautiful store, it's rebuilt, it's so modern, so beautiful. But the thing that makes it special is the same people that took care of our customers are still with us, they're still here to service them, and tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock we'll be wide open. The 51,000 plus square foot store includes a Starbucks, cafe lounge, pharmacy, and full bakery services. Smith is confident that business will do well following the new additions. We've added a lot of amenities to it. We've added a Starbucks. We've changed our food service department around and enlarged that. Uh, we've still got a big sit down cafeteria in here that people love to come to on, on for breakfast or for Sunday dinners. It's just fantastic to be able to see it. The store is a little bigger than the old store was. It's got more variety, more selection. Our food service, as I mentioned, is a lot bigger, but it's the same friendly faces they're used to seeing. I think we're going to be very busy tomorrow. I think uh, it's exciting. People, I think, have missed us. I've got lots of correspondence from folks. When are you going to get this store open? When are you going to reopen? Blah, blah, blah. And, and I know they, they, they want it back, and they're going to get it back, and they're going to get it in a much grander way than it was before. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.